Hello, and congratulations on your appointment or election, and welcome to UAN Services for New Fiscal Officers. I am Carl Cardwell, a project accountant with UAN Support, and this session is for entities already on UAN, but who have new fiscal officers. And we are UAN, the Uniform Accounting Network. So what do we offer? UAN is a financial management system designed for Ohio local government. The latest version is 2016.1. It is multi-user capable. It is audited annually to ensure compliance. It includes software such as accounting, budget, inventory, payroll, and cemetery. As you can see per this graphic, we have over 1,900 entities in UAN, which would include your entity. And our growth is managed throughout the year so that we can both support our current clients and service new clients. In fact, looking at a map of the state of Ohio, UAN usage by local government entities would just about cover the entire state of Ohio, with townships and villages represented by the areas in red and blue icons indicating libraries. A couple of stats. UAN is used to issue $393 million in payroll and service 30,000 employees, which, if considered as a whole, as a 30,000 employee company, UAN would be the fifth largest employer in the state of Ohio with $3.1 billion in total resources managed within UAN. Our software, starting with accounting, our software uses the framework of cash basis fund accounting structured to use the accounting codes indicated by the state of Ohio. Most of you have probably used a checkbook at one time or another, right? UAN is based on that same basic principle, and UAN has hundreds of reports to meet the needs of your entity. You will also be happy to know that if you aren't familiar with the terms I'm using right now, like fund accounting and account codes, I'll be talking about training options a little later in the presentation. UAN also provides a complete payroll system which would be used to pay the entity's employees, including yourself through checks or EFT, which is also known as direct deposit. It tracks and pays and allows you to pay withholdings associated with payroll, such as federal, state, OPERS, Ohio Police and Fire, and prepare the reports necessary, such as the 941 and W-2s, to maintain compliance. UAN provides budget software to not only prepare reports, such as the tax budget, and assists your preparing the county certificate of estimated resources, but also powerful budgeting worksheet tools to produce reports such as a five-year budget forecast or a comparison of your current budget with up to four prior years. After you're closing your books for the year-end process, you'd be able to produce your annual financial report, also known as the AFR, for submittal to the state auditor in minutes instead of the days or weeks for manual or other systems in whatever format you choose that will ensure compliance. Again, you'll be happy to know that we provide detailed written procedures and annual training in completing the year-end process through our annual year-end update conference, which this past December had 332 participants in online training, 260 attendees here in Columbus at the Fawcett Center. Throughout the year, UAN provides regular software releases mailed to you, and you can expect releases such as the budget release in April, and the year in release in December. Updates to UAN software, such as the changes to the federal tax table, which the IRS issued after we had already released 2016.1, are issued as needed and will be available to download from our UAN link website. Almost all of your contact with UAN will be through UAN support, and all UAN emails come from UAN underscore support at ohioauditor.gov. UAN support is available from 7.30 a.m. to 5.15 p.m., Monday through Thursday, Friday until 4.45, and Saturdays 8 to 12. We have extended hours of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. through the Friday before President's Day in February, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., 8 to 2 on Saturdays, during this, the year-end season, which is our and your busiest time of the year. We do take holidays off, such as Thanksgiving, Christmas, Ohio State versus Michigan, the Cleveland Browns winning the Super Bowl, yeah. Those are not national holidays yet. There are a few days where we shut the phones off a little early before longer holiday periods to ensure we follow up and reach out to each and every client that has an open call ticket to see if we can help resolve whatever issue they're having. 
UAN Support receives more than 18,000 calls and emails every year. We use call analytics, a great buzzword for you Browns and Bengals fans, such as the number of support calls UAN gets per week, shown on the screen, which allows us to predict future call volumes so we can adjust support staffing levels. We look at stats like in January where our call volume is highest, and we use these numbers along with other analytics to determine our staffing levels, especially around the extended hours. We look at some data at the micro level, such as number of calls, wait times, to again adjust staffing if we see issues. Other analytics, such as when annual financial reports are filed, provide insight as to our client's ability to complete and submit their year-end work. Deviations could indicate an issue that we need to address. What these past few slides show is that we look at many ways to try to minimize the time that you would wait on hold or get an email reply. Our average call wait time was 1 minute 59 seconds last year, but we continuously work to reduce your wait time even further. When you call into UN support for application support or technical support, it helps consider that application support is the how do I's of using UN software. How do I find something? How do I print something? How do I do something? And tech support is that I have a technical problem, like I'm trying to print a PDF. It's not coming out on the printer. The print on my screen is tiny. Can I do something about that? Or my trustee was using the computer, and now I think I have a virus. This is the UN hardware you should be receiving from the current fiscal officer, either a laptop or a desktop, which consists of the CPU, a monitor, full-size keyboard, and mouse, a printer, either a single function or a multi-function, which, in addition to printing, will provide fax, copying, and scanning functions. UAN cycles through computer and printer hardware roughly every four years, and a printer hardware replacement is upcoming in February 2016, based upon the selection of the fiscal officer when the choice was given in December of 2015. Tentatively, there will be a computer hardware replacement in the summer of 2017, where you'll be able to choose between a desktop and a laptop at that time. Here are some simple ways to figure out who to call Dell or UAN if you have hardware issues like my speaker stopped working or I can't get to the window screen, then you would call Dell. I can get to the window screen, but I can't hear Hang On Sloopy playing, which is the official rock song of the state of Ohio, just a bit of side trivia, then you would call UAN. For printers, Call Dell if it is making strange noises, not picking up paper, picking up multiple sheets, or jamming. Or anything else, such as my letter size report is printing the legal size paper tray, or I need help with my backup, then you call UAN. Dell Tech Support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the information that can be found on the silver sticker on the computer. We know that UAN is new to you. So be comforted in knowing that UAN provides training conferences also at no additional charge. We have three training options. In person at our training facility at 88 East Broad here in Columbus, through internet accessed online webinars, or by recorded on-demand videos which will be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week through our UAN link website in which you do not need access to the UAN computer. It is important to note that the same exact content is delivered regardless of delivery method, so you can take into consideration how you learn the best and what is most convenient to you. Our upcoming training course offers include new fiscal officers training, which is especially applicable for those listening, tentatively to be held in March and April with the registration details to be sent in February, new to UAN client training, which is offered in April, July, and October to those on our wait list, lunch and learn webinars, which are offered periodically throughout the year and typically cover topical issues that can be covered in an hour or two, refreshers to help increase proficiency in using UAN, and the year-end conference, which will help prepare you to roll from one year to the next. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, I'm new. How do I get up to speed? There will be phases to the application training, and you're in the first phase, orientation, which is the UN services for new fiscal officers. The prerequisites are the next sessions, 
for those that don't have a background in fund accounting or payroll, these sessions are designed as prerequisites to the application training. The introductory application training phase, which will be available through live training either here in Columbus or through webinars, will introduce the UN application and allow you to perform the day-to-day -day functions. The proficiency phase for accounting and payroll will provide more in-depth training and help you become more efficient in the UN application by using the full feature set contained in the application. We have produced two documents for you to consider using which may aid in your transition and we think will be a great benefit to you. It will benefit you to consider what are some of the things you should ask your predecessor for and if they aren't going to help then what answers will I have to get for myself? What tasks should be performed your first day in office? And what are some of the common websites used by fiscal officers and how do I tell UAN who I am? In the UAN orientation document we cover reference points for some of the material that was covered in this presentation, as well as additional assistance besides UAN that is available for local government through the Order States Office, such as local government services and through financial audit. As mentioned earlier, another fantastic resource available can be at your fingertips 24 hours a day, seven days a week, accessing through the internet from any computer the UAN Link website. The UAN Link website contains information such as in the lower right, the UAN Communications, where you post previous communications UAN has sent out to fiscal officers, which is available as far back as 2012. Under the menu headings at the top, you'll find information such as documentation and manuals under software, under hardware, tips like how to print the screen, other manuals and documentation, under resources, listings of all entities on UAN, and a database of entities year-end filings. And under support, you'll find the support hours, times, and contact information. If you look at the training heading, which is highlighted here, and you would bring down a menu in which we would select accounting on the drop-down menu which would then take you to the UAN Accounting Module training information. The right menu shows other training sessions available such as New UAN Users and Data Conversion, which is for new entities just joining UAN, not newly elected entities that are currently on UAN, and other options for videos such as for payroll, budgeting, year-end, etc. This shows a little bit further down the page where you see a selection which covers how to do a bank reconciliation in UAN. The video would cover this simple bank reconciliation, which is the basic how-to, a complicated bank reconciliation, which shows a more advanced methodology of learning how to uh, find what's wrong with a bank rec, and the bank reconciliation worksheet, which gives you an Excel tool to be able to find any issue or problem. Now, if we were to click on checking accounts within this list, after clicking on checking accounts from the previous page, it would take me to the video of the training session that's posted on YouTube. Since this is YouTube, it will show you materials that cover checking accounts as well as the UAN videos over under the right. It's interesting to note that while Kevin Hart or Jamie Foxx's video versions of checking accounts may be entertaining, or appalling to others. They do not endorse us and we do not endorse them. Now here is some homework that may or may not already have been done. You may need some help from you to know who you are and your entity is so that we can provide support help. As you had seen earlier there are many instances such as for when the training will be upcoming that we're going to need email addresses or phone numbers or mailing addresses so that we can send out this information to you. So what we'll need from you as a new fiscal officer is a letter on entity letterhead signed by your trustees notifying you of the change in fiscal officer with very important fiscal officer contact information such as name, phone number, and email addresses as we do send about 10 emails or so per year. You'll also want to include the location of the UAN computer. 
will need a copy of the signed minutes where the fiscal officer change is noted in, and a copy of the certificate of election for the fiscal officer if that is applicable. We also ask that you review the UAN Users Agreement, which can be found at the UAN Link website, uanlink.ohioauditor.gov. It's the user agreement that would have been executed between your entity and UAN so that you can obtain the UAN system. It gives you the responsibilities and duties that is held by the entity and yourself as fiscal officer, as well as the expectations from UAN. Also available on the UAN Link website, you can review the entity information UAN currently has on hand at any time through the UAN Link profile login, which is the green button you would click on in the top right corner. You will need a username and password, which can be provided to you after you have submitted those documents and you have taken official residence as fiscal officer. Once entering the password and entity ID, you would then be taken to the profile login menu where you be able to download software updates, upload your year and files, and view and update entity information. You'll be able to edit information such as shipping and mailing addresses with no post office box please for shipping addresses and provide alternate contact phone number information. Also note that there are fields you are not available to update such as the contact name, email addresses. You will be able to edit information such as shipping and mailing addresses with no post office boxes please for shipping addresses as well as provide alternate contact phone numbers. You'll note that there are fields that are not available to update such as your contact name and email address. The contact names listed in the profile as well as those email addresses are used to authenticate the clients who we will be able to provide certain services such as password resets. Again, the email and names can't be changed in the profile login, only through a letter on letterhead submitted to UAN through fax, mail, or email. UAN is 100% self-sufficient with all support coming from our supporting our entities. The UAN fees have two components a hardware fee which covers the flat fee of $50 per month which covers the actual hardware as well as a license for software such as Microsoft Office and Semantic Endpoint Protection as well as a monthly user fee which includes all releases each year, all training courses, all usages of UAN application and technical support and is on a sliding scale basis based on the total resources of the entity. UAN fees are calculated monthly but billed quarterly and you should see invoices by the end of March, May, August and November. The invoice at the end of March is for fees for the second quarter so you may see adjustments to the user fee up or down based on the total resources recalculation of the submitted AFR from the previous year. The Auditor States Office has also begun to offer electronic invoices. Further information will sometimes be included with invoices or can be obtained by contacting the Fiscal Office through the AOS phone number shown on the last slide of the presentation. Now let's cover a few technical items to take note, such as steps to take before moving your UE equipment. You'll need to perform backups, Check the equipment, make sure the equipment matches the hardware list that we went over earlier, notify your insurance company as to the change in location of the equipment. You'll want to shut down using the shutdown menu selection and not by yanking out the power cord. You'll also want to properly secure the equipment when moving it and transporting. As mentioned before, for your protection, UAN will only provide password reset support for the names and email addresses noted in the entity profile. And for security, if during the transition you do not have a separate user set up for yourself, you should immediately change any of the passwords used on the UAN system. 
the UAN software will enforce a UAN backup be made at a maximum of every 30 days. However, that can be adjusted to a more frequent period, such as every week. You'll want to especially back up after entering in lots of work or after completing important tasks. The UAN backup safeguards UAN data. Other documents on your system will need to have separate backups made. Through UAN, you can also perform a backup to the My Documents folder. So please note that items on the desktop and items stored in other directories, such as the underscore UAN underscore e file directory, where a lot of the external documents that UAN creates are made and stored, those files are not backed up. We want to emphasize that the files in the My Docs folder are not encrypted. So be sure to review for confidential and sensitive information such as social security and bank account routing numbers. You can, however, encrypt individual documents such as PDFs, Word documents, and Excel spreadsheets through those applications. You should not store music, video, and pictures within the My Docs folder because those file types are usually fairly large and can add up quickly, which can cause issues with backups taking a long time or not completing at all because the backup then becomes unnecessarily large. You can use an alternate directory on the personal computer or better still an external hard drive or a flash drive to store those type of files. Any file that is not contained in the My Document folder that you feel is vital or necessary should be either relocated or a copy made to the My Documents folder. Protection against viruses, spyware, and malware is provided through the Semantic Endpoint Protection Antivirus application. You don't need to purchase or download freeware that does the same thing as Semantic. The default setting is for the antivirus definitions to be updated every week as long as there is an internet connection. We do update the Semantic with each release to the most current version available at that time when you update using the UAN Update Disk. You are responsible for purchasing consumable supplies such as toner, CDs to make backups or flash drives if you choose to use those, checks or tax forms. You can purchase toner or the PC kit which would be needed to replace a printer drum from any supplier, but it cannot be generic or remanufactured and should be genuine Dell branded as the warranty could be voided if a non-Dell brand is used. Laptops have their own batteries and will warn you when your battery life is low and you should either shut down or plug in the power supply. So, it is highly recommended that desktop computers users purchase a UPS battery backup device and connect only the monitor and the computer. This way, in the case of a sudden power loss, you can allow yourself time to safely exit the computer and avoid data loss. Our phone number here at UAN Support is 800-833-8261. You can also reach us by email at UAN underscore support at ohioder.gov. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. With you as a new user, let me emphasize that we here at UAN Support are here for you if you have a UAN problem or question. And this concludes the presentation for UAN services for new fiscal officers. I am Carl Cardwell, Project Accountant with the Uniform Accounting Network, a division of the Ohio Auditor State, Dave Yost Auditor. Thank you.